Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Good, I hope. Um, I'm on my way to see a good friend of mine. You know about about things. There you go. Okay, good morning. As y'all can see, I guess y'all can't see, but uh, I'm in a different truck this morning, my F-350. And a lot of y'all say, well, why don't you drive trucks or pull travel trailers or something? You know, that's what my mama does. You know, the greatest mother in the world. Uh, I'm not saying nothing about nobody else's mama, but you know, anything I've come across, uh, <laughs> but well I was thinking about it I was thinking about hot shot and stuff but it ain't um, it ain't you know every day or every week for when I can gather so I need something more permanent but y'all don't get y'all don't get upset cause you know I'm gonna still be pressure washing I know y'all want me to come pressure wash y'all's house or y'all's driveway and outbeat anybody else's price and do a better job than anybody else can and just all around have a good customer uh, relationship you know business customer relationship than anybody here in Mobile um but that's just how it is sometimes you know sometimes you go on a job and you meet somebody and you're friends with them for the rest of your life. I got a couple people like that already. You know. Um, that's what I'm here for. But yeah, I'm in the big F-350. It's back. Uh, it cost me a little penny to get it fixed. You know, my air went out. I'm going to let y'all know something. <clears throat> air went out. And for one, yeah, it didn't need to be charged. Um, and also a wire came loose in the fuse box so um, the air conditioner goes out you know and you're like man I don't want to take it up there it's gonna to be too much uh, you are really hesitant about trying to get it fixed because you're afraid about how much it will be well yeah don't get me wrong it did cost me a little bit I mean not even a thousand dollars but it did cost <laughs> but <clears throat> you know I take all my vehicles if you're live here local I take all my vehicles the new century uh, here on uh, Schillinger's you know I'm not they don't pay me or anything for saying this but they are some of the best mechanics here in Mobile hard-working um, they are some true good people you know and they are have integrity about their business um very honest and fair on their prices they ain't gouging nobody i'm gonna tell you that right now they ain't gouging nobody they are real good people now <clears throat> i say this to say this i mean i'm not talking about nobody else's business okay but i'm just telling you i could go to joe blow over here mechanic or our, our thrifty nickel mechanic down here and yeah I may fall in love with them but I don't because I, I stick to what I know and what I, and if what I know is working why change it right I got my pawpaws cup you know I love drinking coffee out of my pawpaws cup but enough about that you know so I'm telling y'all, New Century, uh, New Century tires, I believe they are a tire shop too, but yeah, I mean, 
I got a sensor put in my truck, a map sensor. Okay, now I don't know exactly where it's located, <clears throat> but the sensor, I had another mechanic offer to put another sensor in my vehicle. They wanted three grand. They wanted to charge me $3,000 to put in a sensor. Okay, I'm no diesel mechanic, but I've got half a common sense. So, I called them and I said, well, this is what it's doing. They said, oh, it's this sensor. So, I researched it. And true enough, they were right. It was a sensor. Told me they put the sensor in. <laughs> be a thousand dollars then they could if they had to replace the pigtail which 90% of the time they do which the sensor came with a pigtail that it was gonna be another two thousand dollars so a total of three grand to put this sensor in my truck <laughs> they just don't know who called them that day <clears throat> So I went on YouTube, I watched one video twice. Like I said, one video twice. I went out there. It took me four hours to get this sensor off and put the new one back on. The reason, only reason why it took me that long was because I had to figure out how to unplug it and I had to figure out how to get my tool back there to get the sensor off. That was the only thing that took the longest. <clears throat> I had to take the breather off. I had to take this little computer off. And that was it. And I pulled the sensor out. The pigtail was the clip that clips on the back of it. I pulled it to the front, snipped the wires, put the other wires on it, you know with the pigtail that came with it put the sensor in plugged it in put the computer back on and put the air air thing back on four hours i was done i was thinking i need to specialize in putting these sensor on that they three grand a sensor shoot i'd just be icp sensor specialist <laughs> you know what i'm saying ICP sensor specialist. Um, I mean, like front ends. I can do front end work. You know, on my truck, my F-150, I replaced the front end. Uh, our Envoy, I replaced the front end. Um, they wanted to charge me $600 to put on uh, upper control arms on my white truck. Lower control, ball joints, upper control arms, wanted to charge me eight or six hundred seventy-five dollars. So for three hundred dollars, I went and bought the tools, and for a hundred and fifty or hundred seventy-five dollars, I went and bought the parts. And so you say I saved a hundred seventy-five dollars or a hundred and two hundred dollars. By the time I got done with the job, which didn't take me. I mean, I didn't even have to get a front end alignment. I did it so right. I didn't even get a front end alignment. You know, they're always like, oh, if you touch the front end, you gotta get the front end alignment. No, not on certain vehicles you don't. Not on certain vehicles you don't, that's a lot. I, and I'll call it like I see it. If you got a problem with it, come talk to me. And I'll explain it to you. Um, after I got done with the project, took me a day yeah, it took me a day because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, but I did it, and I did it right, and I did it good. And I got to keep all the tools after I got done. So being that said, I did the envoy next. If you need a front end done, you come holler at me. You know, they charge you six fifty, I'll charge you three three fifty. Come holler at me. Putting everybody in mobile out of business. Not not New Century. Y'all go to New Century first. If they don't give you, you know, they can't take you, come on to me. Um but yeah, I'm in the big 350 today. 
So, I do appreciate everything, y'all. I got a couple jobs lined up this week. Um, I got a couple jobs lined up this week. I got a painting job. I got somebody wants me to paint their whole house. So that's gonna be a little job, you know, pretty big job. Um, about to wrap up Hunter's Cove around Thursday or Wednesday, so y'all won't be seeing me around there no more. Cause I know through there, when I come through there, I know it's loud. I got two big boy engines running, wide open. So y'all be able to get a little bit of rest. Oh wow, my top, my top came up. I think I might make it. I knew it was gonna come up. Freaking snap a Velcro top I got on the back. If it ain't put on there just right, it comes up. And if it comes up and flies up and hit the back of this windshield, I'll have hell to pay. But yeah, I'm fixing to wrap it up. Um, I'm fixing to be done. I gotta find somewhere to pull over. I'm about to be done with that job. Oh my God, it's a castle. Ooh, they just built it's a, this house right over here is probably two million dollars. I don't know, two million dollars. But yeah, I'll be done. I'll be done with that shortly. Um, I had a couple things I want to talk about today, but I sure forgot. I got so much going on, people. I mean, I got so much going on. I am stacked high with jobs, and I'll tell you what. I don't know if y'all are very religious, like I am, but the Lord will prevail. Anytime you need the Lord, and, and you, you just plain out flat need the Lord, He will prevail. He will be there for you in any time of need. This is what happened. Now, if that comes up while you flying down the road, no, it, it ain't gonna be nice. Alright, fixed it. Yeah. Um. <sighs> but yeah. That's it. That's the just, the just of things. Um. You know. Got, I got my spikes for my signs, finally. So I'm gonna be putting my signs out. If y'all see the signs, and y'all see somebody trying to pull them up, y'all pull over wherever you're at. You skid, just skid into the place. You know, hey, don't touch that boy's sign. We know him. We know him, don't touch his sign. Yeah, I'm still working on getting me a GoPro. So y'all can uh so y'all can watch me while I work and see how good of a job I do. You know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry y'all around with me everywhere I go. Um once I get, you know, once I get, you know, to a different position in life, I'll be having better content. Right now it ain't nothing but talking. Oh, and about them tarps at, at the dollar store. Dollar General tarps. Um, yeah, they were some good tarps. I don't know if we got them down here. I'm going to go to the dollar store today and see. You know, because I know y'all uh, in Canada got it like that. But I don't think we got it like that in Mobile. Mobile, Alabama, you know. Here, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mobile. Mobile is the bare essentials. They should be mobile bear essentials because they don't have much. You know, um, you can ride down the street here in downtown and stuff. They ain't even got street signs. You like, where am I at? And who knows? You know, ain't no street sign. You know, it's just trying to get by. Um, oh, also, another thing. If you ain't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe to it and hit the, hit the bell and you can have options to see no videos when they first come out, no videos at all, 
or see my videos when they first come out. Anybody's got a Google account, a Gmail account, or whatever, I think I believe you gotta have that. Um, subscribe to my channel. There's 95% of y'all watching these videos that ain't subscribed. And just hit the little like button too. That's all you gotta do. Just a little thumbs up thing. Just hit it. Boom. And it's free. I think or I think they may be charging. If y'all can't afford it, y'all let me know and I'll pay for y'all to subscribe. And I'll pay for y'all to like. How much every money y'all need, y'all let me know. I, I don't know how much it is, but just let me know. Y'all see shoot me the bill from YouTube. And I'll go ahead and pay for the subscribe and like. Um so I've been working on my trimmer, my Echo 1500 trimmer. Now I got this trimmer, and from a guy I paid 20 bucks for it, right? It's got some gears in the bottom, a little pad, you know, and then the gears that makes it, you know, like a train, like a train arm. Do, 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 do. Took that little that little cover off, and there was rust. I'm talking about rust all in it. Ooh, it was it was full of rust. I, it's like they had it sitting in a pool or something. Um, the carburetor's messed up on it, man. So I got a carburetor in the mail the other day. It ain't the right one. So I sent it back. So my new carburetor should be here today. And I got a carburetor for my Cub Cadet. I'm fixing to show y'all about that later when I get home. I'm going to put it on the videos. Um, I'm super excited. You know, I ain't no small engine repair guy, but I'm just going to try that mower it's expensive yeah I'll have some more videos coming out today um, I appreciate y'all watching them all y'all that's watching my videos I got a couple of subscribers and if it wasn't for y'all you know I wouldn't feel like making these videos so I appreciate y'all keeping me keeping me uplifted and support me in, in every way y'all can appreciate y'all thank you so much and if there's anything y'all got anything to talk about or anything to tell me about or anything y'all want to see y'all just let me know and i'll be here god bless y'all and y'all have a good day